Welcome to Coding Bat video number one. I'm Nick Parlante, I run Coding Bat, and this is just an experimental video where I want to talk about some of the basic features of Java strings and then work some example problems. So I'm going to scroll through this uh, little document about strings, and uh, this is available on the site if you want to look at it later. So strings are an incredibly common data type in computers. They store text. Uh, so you could think of a string as maybe storing the, the content of one email, uh, or maybe it could be as big as an entire book. So in code, in Java code, strings look like this. If you just want to have a string, you just um, put the list the characters inside double quotes. So there's the string hello. And inside the computer, that looks like this. Um, so what you see is like, well, really there's individual characters. There's the H and the E and the L and so on. Um, and taken all together, they make this string. And these numbers at the bottom, I'll talk about uh, what those mean in a little bit. So the simplest thing you can do with, a, uh, with strings is to put them together with a plus. Um, so here's a little example. So I've got uh, the string kit uh, plus the string 10. And what that does is it puts them together to make the string kitten. Um, so that just shows how the plus can assemble strings into bigger strings. All right, let's try a um, code example. So here, I'll work the uh, hello name problem. Um, so what does this say? Given a string passed in in the parameter name, e.g. Bob, uh, return a greeting of the form, hello, Bob. So um, to run this code, I'm going to scroll down here for a second. I'm going to turn on this new coding bat option, show output only. And what that does is it doesn't change the way the problem is scored, but it, it doesn't show all that red green stuff. So the output is a little easier to look at. OK, so let's try. Uh, Let's try solving this thing. So name is passed in, and with return, I control what comes out, basically. Um, so I'll just try a simple uh, use of plus. So I'll say return name plus exclamation mark. Let's see what we get. Um, so over here, it shows uh, what was passed in, Bob, and here's what it got out, Bob exclamation mark, or Alice exclamation mark, whatever. So what you see there is that the, the plus is working, as I described. Um, all right, so let's try and solve this thing. So what we really want is for the output to look like that. Hello, Bob. So what I'll do is I'll use another plus. I'll say hello, which is a string, plus name, plus exclamation mark. Let's run that. There we go. Um, so what we see is, uh, we got hello, Bob. That's close, uh, but it's missing the space. There we got hello, Bob. It's all run together. Uh, so I'm going to go over here to the code. I'm going to put the cursor just to the right of the O and hit the space bar. And what that shows is that space is a character just like O is a character. And that, that's what we were missing. All right. Now that works. Okay. So um, strings, uh, the length of a string is just the number of characters in it. So hello is length five. There's five characters in there. Um, there's a method dot length that you can call on a string, and that just returns the length. Um, so building on the length, every string has these index numbers that are used to address individual characters inside of the string. And the way it works is that the uh, leftmost character, here the H, is at index 0. And the next character is at index 1, the next character is at index 2, and so on. So it just provides a way of it identifying every character inside of the string. Um, it happens that the rightmost character, the last character, its index number is always whatever the length is minus one. So in this case, hello is length five, five minus one is four. So four is the index number of the O. All right, so what can you do with these uh, index numbers? Well, the simplest way to um, take out part of a string is with, with this method substring. Um, so the way the simplest form of substring works is that you pass in a single start index number. Um, and what it does is it takes the subpart of the string beginning at that index number. So I'll show you how that works here. So here I've got uh, the string hello in a variable str. And so here I call uh, at substring and I pass in one. What does that mean? What it, uh, so by passing in one, what it does is it starts at index one and then it runs through the end of the string. Um, so that's going to uh, grab out ELLO. Uh, and obviously, so then if I pass in a bigger number, then I would be, you know, grab uh, starting further to the right. Alrighty, so let's try a code example. Um, so here's the uh, background problem. It says, uh, given a string, take the last character and we're going to turn a new string with the last car added at the front and the back. All right, 
So let's see. So what I'm going to do here is uh, first I'm just going to work on grabbing that last character because that's obviously important for this thing. So I'll say string last is equal to str dot substring. So I'm just calling substring as we were talking about. And then what I want is the what is the index of the last character? And so that is str.length minus one. Um, so just for fun here, I'm gonna just say return last. Um, that's not a solution to this problem, but it'll just let me see what last is. So if we run that, looking over here, you say, well, for cat, I get back the T, and for hello, I get back the O. So, you know, so that last code is working. That is, in fact, the last character of each one of those strings. Um, so now we have enough to actually solve this thing. So it says return new string with last added at the front and the back. Um, so this is just going to amount to uh, using plus. So I'll say last plus str, so that it'll put it at the front. And I'll say plus last again, so I'll put a second. So there's sort of basically str is in the middle, and then I put last at the front and the back. All right, that works. Um, so the uh, in later sections, I'll talk about more advanced uh, features of strings. And here at the bottom, I've listed uh, a couple more simple, uh, similar problems if you want to uh, practice on those. All right, keep on practicing.